Hey guys, welcome back. Paul, Yellow Detox 014, back here. Uh, so, right now I was looking for solutions on how I can preserve my K pop merch or K pop albums, uh, specifically the photo book and some of the uh, items included in the albums like these uh, so this is uh, I use love poem album so of course most collectors would have also be collecting uh, photo cards uh, this is a bookmark so it's a little bit of a uh, odd size or shape um, so yeah um, most collectors would be sleeving up the photo card photo cards with uh, specific photo card sleeves like the ones they use for Pokemon's or magic the gathering cards uh, and then after they sleeve, uh, they sleeve the cards. They would also still put it in a binder. Uh, some eight in a single leaf or nine card holder for the sleeves. Now, um, due to the current situation and call for. COVID-19 um, most suppliers are based in the malls and they're closed alright so uh, I've been looking online what would be the best solution I can use to help keep these in good condition away from moisture away from you know light that would fade the color um, so I turned into looking into comic books, comic book collections. I myself don't collect any comic books, um, but I see that they're, they have their solutions uh, that could also help um, K-pop album collectors. So right here, uh, there's a local supplier. Uh, that provides BCW supplies so BCW is the brand so uh, the next competitor competitor to this brand would be ultra pros um, you would usually see ultra pros with uh, the photo card and the photo card holders um, photo card sleeves and photo card holders and everything else so right now um, I, I've requested for four pieces of the Myler comic book bags current is the size so apparently there are sizes with the comic books uh, current bags would be like this uh, measurement is in inches, seven and one fourths by ten and a half. Now, um, I've seen reviews that they like this, and sorry, <laughs> alarm just went off. Uh, they like this better because it uh, stores uh, their comic books in, in very good condition for a long long time um, plus this is a little bit thicker than the usual um, the, the usual comic bags so 
Um, let me just get this here. So apparently this comes in a combo. Other than the comic bag that you get, you'd also get the uh, acid-free border. So I I'm not sure what I can do with these, but. I'm just going to keep him anyway. Um, well, if I use the backboards, I wouldn't see the backside of the album. Right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, it's it's really clear. I ha I still have the album outside looking at it looking through it rather it's clear right so this would keep help moisture out dust whatever particles are out there and um, it's gonna keep whatever printed material is inside of it in good condition for at least at least nine to ten years before you know anything happens um, now this is like plastic cover but it has a really thick gauge you won't see it from the camera but once you have it You'd, you'd see and feel that it's uh, of a wonderful and, and high quality material. Okay, sorry again. Um, let's see. Alright, so right now I have the CD inside. Right there. Um, the covering of this uh, photo book itself is a poster of IU. And then the other freebies are also on the first just before the first page so I'm gonna put them inside of this archival bag um, I still don't have my CD player so I couldn't test the disc as of the moment um, but yeah so maybe sometime around May 2020 i would be getting it all right so It's as if you have a comic book, right? Now, for sure, I'm not going to be able to slide it in to the very bottom because, well, these comic bags are designed for comics that would have very few pages and not as thick as a K-pop album photo book. Alright, so I have three alarms <laughs> going on, um, but that should be the last for right now. Uh, okay, how do I operate with this? <laughs> wow it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge uh, okay maybe I need the help of the backboard to just 
slide it in. Okay. All right, so this bag, this comic bag this does have a flap right here. But it doesn't have any sticker, you know, um, to close, to have whatever is inside enclosed. So, which is good. Now, what I'll do is maybe I'll put double-sided tape here on the body instead of on the flap. So if I slide in the album again, let's just say if I took it out, I need to put it back in, it wouldn't stick on this side, whatever is printed out there. Okay, all right. So as you can see, I, I, I couldn't push it further down because it's gonna damage the bottom part of the album. This is my initial solution, just, just to see which one would be best for K-merch, K-pop albums. Alright, so, of course you'll see it's going to warp the comic bag because it's, it's not designed for something as thick as this. And uh, I think it because of the thickness of this bag, I think it will be tough for me to eventually close the bag itself. You know, um, so I'm gonna think of. A way on how I can close it up so if ever it, it will look like that it's kind of weird yes <laughs> if you put it on the shelf um, it's not gonna stand with the book but it's gonna stand like <laughs> see gonna be elevated and it's gonna push for with, with the gravity most likely it will push down this plastic bag um, in time so yeah um, this is how it's gonna look like inside the bag so if you gotta be putting this on a shelf it's good because you know, um, there's no other things wrapping around the album itself. Uh, because at first I was thinking of wrapping it in regular paper before putting it in the bag. Um, it's a bit basically the, the comic book bags, the milers and the regular ones are supposedly going to help keep the colors intact and not fading even if it, it hits by light or sunlight at a certain number of hours in a day uh, but of course uh, you, you, you try to avoid keeping direct hit from the sunlight and even just regular light at your house so you know to keep things and if ever someone let's say visits your house looks at your shelf of k-pop albums it'll be easy for you to just flex it right <laughs> um, yeah so let's say there's tape in here there's still a big enough space for you 
above the album and a little bit of space down below the album so yeah this is how it looks like at front and then at the back you'll see all the details too so it's nice all right so for now i'll put it up like this i'm gonna put tape in here um i i have a few things pending to be shipped to me uh a different comic book solution uh it's not thicker than this but uh something thinner uh I think this is four mils, if I'm not mistaken. It's what? It's too thick. All right, four mils. It's uh, four thousandths of an inch. There's a variation of that. There's like two mils, point zero zero two inch, and there's just your regular comic book bag. Um. So yeah. Uh, this is I would say a little bit expensive it's about 50 pesos about almost a dollar USD um, for for the pair backboard and the plastic bag I, I hope the supplier could just sell it by just the plastic bag because I don't see any use right now at least um, for the backboard um, okay, so let's say let's say I'll, I'll do it right now. Um, let's put uh, double-sided tape here. Okay, I'm gonna take off the uh, gloves. Oh yeah, uh, if also you noticed, IU is on the background. Her uh, behind the scenes for Gloomy or BB. Maybe I should have placed this earlier. I wonder if I should put this much. Oh <laughs> my god. Um, okay, maybe here. Okay. Snip it off. So until I receive my uh, CD player, I'll keep this sealed as tight as I can. So, you know. Uh, I can I can protect it. Well, it, it's really tough at my location because each and every day that I'm staying here, I feel that it's so humid, even if it's not raining at all. So, okay. I know. I think that's the number one reason why I had to look for a solution. Now I can. How I can store this, my, my my albums. So, all right. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, this is tough. This is such a production number, huh? Not a good one. But uh, it's like a thick film. on the uh, tripod sorry okay because of the material itself is very thick it's tough for you to <gasps> fold it as well um okay so this is as far as i can go with it Oh man, I think this would still be prone to moisture. Well, at least I could minimize it. So yeah, that's how it goes for my album. So I would say... Yeah, I'll put a note that we're keeping this right here as of April 21, 2020 and of course I'll, I'll keep it in a cool and dry place um, some comic book enthusiasts also uh, suggest to include or restore this with uh, dehumidifiers or those little bags for uh, anti-moisture bags that you usually see in in electronics when it gets shipped to you so yeah um, I'm gonna look for those as well but yeah so so far after unboxing the album for us to for me at least to keep my albums in good condition I'll put it in here for the meantime if I see another solution that I can have the album snug fit you know, and not have big spaces around it and have it sit flush in, in on a desk and not see it like Floating. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know so those would be the, the few solutions that I have pending um, and, and people will make it work on, on shipping those to me so yeah uh, thank you very much for you know uh, tuning in again so i'll see you again and i'll definitely put up updates uh, at least let's say once a week but I, I think that's too too frequent so we'll, we'll we'll see because since i'm i'm on the observation stage um, I, i'll i'll definitely let you guys know so thank you very much again uh, this is paul yellow detox 014 Keep safe, stay healthy.